So we're gathered here today to celebrate the marriage of Esther and Patrick. They ask for your blessing, encouragement and lifelong support for their decision to become husband and wife and particularly family. Without family and friends beside them in joy as well as in sorrow, this new family will miss the greatest joys of life outside of their own home. And that is to give and receive love, to help and to be helped, to teach as well as to learn. Esther, you're my best friend. You're patient, loyal, and so naturally selfless. You're an amazing mother to our two beautiful boys, and you fill our home with love every single day. Sure, our story till now isn't textbook or traditional, but it's ours and it's built to last. We've had to grow rapidly, learn fast, act quickly these past four years, but I wouldn't want anyone else by my side to help slow it all down. No matter what curveball has come our way, things have always found a way of working themselves out. You could call it lucky, but we all know you create your own luck. S, I promise to always appreciate your playful nature even if it means cheeky slap, grab, or pinch to my ass every day, I'll always take it in good spirits and never take them for granted. I promise to welcome you into my personal space, even when you say creepy things, like, I just want to be in your skin. I promise to always keep you in the loop when I'm out with mates, even if it's just a thumbs up emoji or something, to let you know I'm thinking of you and that I'm alive. But most importantly, I promise to be on the same page as you, ride every roller coaster with you, support you, appreciate you, and unconditionally love you. That's you in my world, my heart, and I'll never give up on us. Till death do us part, Esther Rose. Pat, once upon a time you knocked drunkenly on my door after a wonderful wedding and I said, no thank you. The next step involved a message, persistence, a fantastic first date, and a hint that this might be something special. Fast forward just a little, and we're inseparable with a baby on the way. Four years together, and we've created two special and beautifully unique boys that you've given security and love, and to me, an opportunity to create the life I always wanted, and all with my best friend. As we prepared for this day, we were asked, what are six qualities of our relationship that make us who we are as a couple? We laughed awkwardly, bought another Riesling and pondered. We came up with laughter, communication, family time, intimacy, and recognizing we're both so stubborn, but passionate. So that's five. Well, the sixth quality that I cherish about you is that you're reactive, but in the best way. When I say I'm sad, you find a way to make me smile. When I say I'm stressed, you find a solution to ease the tension. If I'm mentally starting to waver, you remind me we're in this life together. And most importantly, if I say I'm exhausted, you take the night shift with the boys. You're caring, you're kind, loving, supportive, and I know I'm blessed to call you mine. So with that, I promise to always be your sounding board and support you when you're faced with difficult decisions, no matter how simple or complex. I promise to understand and appreciate the love and kindness you show to those around you and not be jealous of having to share you, but proud you, you bless their lives like you have mine. I promise to always be in your personal space and never forget how loved you are. I promise to always actively listen from here onwards and learn all the different golf terms so I understand why you're a roller coaster of emotion before, during and after around with your mate. I love you, Pat. You taught me to enjoy the journey and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you.